my name is Melissa. I'm HealthWare's registered dietitian and personal trainer. Welcome. Uh, this is a video for participants in HealthWare's February weight loss challenge um, to go along with the suggested exercise schedule. Uh, though, of course, if you do stumble across this video just randomly, you are more than welcome to participate. This is our third workout in our month long series. Um, so if you missed the first two classes, you may want to go back and do those on another day. Today I'll be demonstrating a series of exercises that you can do at home for a home strength training workout. I'll demonstrate a set of the exercises here, which you can do along with me, and then you, I want you to do another two sets on your own at home for a total of three sets for the full workout. Uh, the set of exercises will be written in the notes section below this video. You may need to click on a button that says show more underneath the video and all the exercises will be written there. So you don't have to remember all of them as we're doing them. Uh, or you can just play the video three times through and do the exercises along with me. Um, before starting, I do recommend doing some sort of warm up, whether it's marching in place, high knees, jogging in place, whatever it may be, just to get the muscles a little bit warmed up before we jump into a bunch of strength training exercises. Uh, today's circuit is all standing full body workout and you will need two handheld weights. Uh, for women, somewhere in the five to 10 pound range would be appropriate. For men, you may want something a little bit heavier. Uh, we have nine exercises total today, three leg, three core, and three arm. And for each exercise, we'll be doing 10 repetitions um, each. Sometimes it'll be 10 repetitions each side or sometimes 10 repetitions total. We'll go through that together. All right, that was a lot of talking. Let's get to it. Have your weights nearby. I'm gonna move my notes so I can remember what we're doing. Here we go. Three leg exercises to start. We're starting with a sumo squat. Feet are wide, knees and toes pointed in the same direction. Lower that bottom down and up. So you'll notice when we lower down, your knees are staying behind your toes. Think about keeping that pelvis tucked slightly under. Weight is going straight down and then back up. Core is in tight. Stand up tall. Squeeze those glutes as you stand back up. Let's do three, two, and one. Nice. I want you to grab your weights now. I'm gonna get that heart rate up a little bit higher. This is a combo move. We haven't done a lot of these. We're gonna be doing a squat, then to an overhead press with our weights. So get the feet situated, hip to shoulder distance apart, and then keep the knees behind the toes. Toes and knees going the same direction. And as we lower down, just keep the weights at your side, lower down and then stand up to curl and press, then lower them back down. And we squat, curl and press. Do it again, squat, curl, press and down. Good, heart rate's coming up with this one. Nice, this is five. Keep good form with that squat. Push the bottom back. Knees are staying forward with the toes. Good. Wait, was that five or six? <laughs> Let's do four more, just to make sure we got all 10 in there. Good, three more. Curl, press. You're getting bonus arm work with this one. One more. Good, Woo. keep those weights in your hands. We're gonna do one more leg focused exercise. Deadlifts, I'll show you from the side and from the front. You do wanna have your feet the same distance about as we were doing with our squat. You can have them a little narrower if you would like, that's fine. And I want you to have soft knees, just soft, not bent, not locked, soft knees, palms facing your body, and we're lowering down, hinging at the hip, standing back up. 
lowering down to about 90 degrees at the hip, and then standing up. Every time you stand tall, I want you to squeeze your glutes. Lower down, and then squeeze your glutes. I'm gonna show you from the front. We're gonna do five more. Lower down, and squeeze up. Lower down, and squeeze. Backs of the legs are working super hard with this one, as well as the glutes. Let's do two more. Last one. Good. Go ahead and set down one of your weights. Put that off to the side. We're doing wood chops. So this is a movement. We'll have 10 on each side. Feet again, hip to shoulder distance apart. Weight in both your hands. Now we're doing wood chops. So we turn and then lift. Turn and lift up across. Core is working hard here. Knees are soft. Rotate down and rotate up. Slight bend in those knees. Let's do three more on this side. Here's three, two, and one. Good. Other side. Pull down and lift. Down and lift. Rotating through the core. Nice. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. How you doing? Nine. And ten. Good. Set your weight down. We'll come back to those later. We're gonna do a few more core moves without our weights. <sighs> Gotta catch my breath. Our next one, we're doing some side layouts. So a lot of core stabilizing work, some oblique work. We're gonna be lifting one leg and leaning to the side, okay? So we lift and lean like a big hinge. Here we go. Lean and pull it down. Same side, we're doing 10 on that side, woo! A lot of balance, really tighten up the core. Good. I think that's five. Tighten up that core, soft knee. Two more on this side. One more. And let's switch. Get your balance. Let's lean and pull it in. Lean, woo, pull it in. Tighten up that core if you find yourself tipping. Good. Let's do five, four, three, oh my, two, and one. A little bonus leg work in there too. All right, next core move. We're doing a crunch in the center and we're extending our arm and our leg. And we're gonna do opposite arm and leg, okay? So, hands up towards the head, extend the right leg, okay? And left hand, here we go. Crunch and then switch. We're alternating these. So we want 10 on each side. You could do 10 on the right and 10 on the left. Totally up to you. We're alternating it just for fun though. Good, contract, release, contract, release. We're halfway through, contract, stand tall, crunch. Imagine you're lying on the floor, crunching. Good, you're almost there. Here we go, four, three, two, and one, nice. Pick up your weights, we've got three arm moves. And then we're done with circuit one. Both weights in hand, standing with soft knees, not locked out, nice and soft, core is tight, standing tall, relax the shoulders, bicep curls, just regular bicep curls. Curl all the way up and extend all the way down. Up and down, yes. Try not to hurry these, don't do them super quick. We want enough time for those muscles to really engage. 
Pretty basic move, but effective. Three, two, and one. Good. From here, I want you to hinge from the hips. So hinging from the hips. Again, soft bent knees. Keep those elbows in close to the waistline. And we're gonna be extending the arms back for a tricep kickback. So we extend and pull back. Extend and in. Keep those arms close to the waistline, close to the body. Just moving the forearm and the weight. Nice. Woo, my elbows popped. Let's do three more. Three, two, and one. Nice. Woo, we have one more exercise to do. Upright rows. Again, soft knees, standing tall. Palms are facing you, okay? Palms facing your body. And we're going to lift the elbows, lift the arms. Imagine like you're zipping up your jacket for an upright row. We zip up and lower down. Zip up and lower down. Notice my elbows are staying slightly above my wrists, okay? Slightly above the wrists. Wrists are strong, they're straight. Don't let them flop around. Let's do four more. That might be a bonus one, but we'll see. Three, it's good for us. Two, last one. Good. Set those weights down. And now on your own or watching the video three more times, or two more times, excuse me, repeat that circuit twice and you'll get a full strength training workout for your day. Bye, see you next time.